Well, just once again, really proud of our team and just the, the focus that they come out with and start the game um, and, and played all four quarters uh, and against a tough Clemson team that came in with a lot of confidence and a lot of weapons um, on both ends of the floor. So really proud of our group effort, and uh, we obviously had a lot of great individual performances as well as we do. Um, we have different people stepping up every game, and um, just really excited uh, to be 4-0 in the ACC. Questions? So, Coach, uh, I'm looking at the uh, box score here. And what didn't we do, Melvin? Yeah, tell, me, <laughs> tell me what we didn't do. That's your no, favorite. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm impressed, I have to say it. Um, but the, so many things jump out. The first thing I'll talk about is the uh, turnovers. Anytime you can have only single-digit turnovers mm -hmm. is, a good, yep. is a good day. Yep. So talk a little, a little bit about that, how you were pleased with the um, – I'm going to assume you're pleased <laughs> with yeah, the uh, offensive efficiency with that. Over. Yeah, um, very much so. And, and that, again, that's what Clemson's MO is. They want to turn you over. They want to cause havoc. They want to cause doubt. And um, we had a great game plan going in, and these, and these ladies were ready to execute it with confidence. And, um, it, you know, we have so many different weapons to be able to handle the ball in the backcourt and attack their pressure and their different looks. Um, but I just – you know, it was fun watching this one just go coast to coast through the entire press a couple times. <laughs> that always helps. That's always nice. Um, and uh, no, but really, really, that was an improvement on, on some of our, you know, our last games where we hadn't been as disciplined in taking care of the ball. In that third quarter, Clemson pulled it within 11. Mm -hmm. And then that one, as you pointed out, you know, scored 10 points in the yeah. quarter and took you guys into the quarter with a sizable lead again. You know, um, how big was that run for you guys? And that's for both of you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, it was really big. I feel like we had to come out, you know, attacking the basket and, you know, just getting the right shot. Um, you know, our, men our mentality is to always a attack, even when the defense is being, like, you know, pressuring. Um, we just had to take care of the ball and, you know, play good defense and, you know, get stops. Yeah, I mean, they went 5 for 10 from the three-point line and, and really got hot in that third quarter. Um, so, we, you know, we talked about it in the timeouts just defensively what we needed to watch out for to not allow them to get those open shots. And, again, just – being able to get out and attack, getting stops to attack, like Tania said. Um, and I think it was around that time where she really just took us on her back and, and attacked the basket um, at, at several possessions in a row and, and uh, was able to get to the free throw line and score. So, um, yeah, we were able to hold them off. But Clemson, you know, any ACC team, they're going to make runs like that. Are we fully expected? And I'm, again, proud of how this team responds. Overall, 31% shooting for, for them from the field. You guys started five and nineteen, five and nine from three, and finished five and nineteen. Mm -hmm. So, how big was that defense? So you know, keep that pressure and make that make sure you guys you know kept them at bay. Yeah, I mean, I just I, we talk about it all the time. Like we've got to start on the defensive end. We've got to make sure to be locked in. And this team, and Jazz is is one of the best leaders I've ever coached. I've told you guys that. I mean, just it starts with her just being locked in on what we need to do, being focused on personnel, um, knowing our game plan knowing who can hurt us and then coming down with a scores mentality. And I think, you know, I want to credit Jazz. Just she obviously had a great stat line, but she started the game in attack mode, you know, and really took advantage, knocked down threes, um, drove to the basket. And, and again, when she's like that, I mean, ooh, it gets really, really scary when she's in attack mode. <laughs> so um, that was fun tonight to see. Coach, when you look yeah. at the box score, I mean, so many things are right. I mean, mm -hmm. 23 of 25 from the line, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I mean, rebound, I mean, just so many things. What What do you take away when you go back, go back to your office mm -hmm. and look at the, I mean, what are you looking for, for them to improve mm -hmm. on? I mean, yeah. something, I mean, you got to get better at something, yeah. I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think, I tell these guys all the time, like, we have, I fully believe that with the 10 players we have, we have exactly what we need to beat anyone in the country. You know, I really do believe that, or to to compete and beat with anyone in the country. And so, but it is different things on different nights. I mean, we did give up 21 offensive rebounds um, to this team. That's been a huge focus for us is to continue to get better with box outs, finishing. We played great half court defense, um, aside from that third quarter, just letting them get those those open threes. But um, the box outs are huge, just being, being strong with the ball and finishing plays there. Um, but yeah, it's there's always stuff to improve on. These guys are never satisfied. That's why they come out so strong and, and ready to go. Yeah, Jazz. Um, you mentioned the other day how fun this offense is to play in. When you could, you know, score ten points and have nine assists as well. How much more fun is it to score ninety in back-to-back -back games? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fun. Um, that's all. 
all it is. It's just fun. Uh, our coach instilled so much confidence in us. Um, the only thing we can do wrong is not shoot the ball. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, when you're playing in a program like that, when your coaches and your teammates have that much faith in you, I mean, like I said, it's every player's dream. Every player wants to be able to play in a program to where they feel like they have to do. Really impressed by the ball movement. That was mm-hmm. the other thing I want to bring up. Um, not just this game, but in, mm-hmm. you know, against Georgia Tech, uh, I thought it was really good. Yeah. And it kind of gets what you're talking about, those open shots. And you guys aren't scared to pull it when you, <laughs> when you get open shots. Yeah. That's, that's another thing I was, yeah. you know, you know kind of want to talk about. Is that something you, you guys instill in them when you get an open shot? You know, just yeah. let it go. Don't worry about, you know, yep. trust yourself. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking for layups and threes. And so we're looking to attack the basket. And if you got a layup, you're, you need to take it. If you if you don't have it, then you're finding someone who's open on the three-point line. And and these these ladies are so smart in, in the sense of they, they understand almost all the time when it's time to attack, uh, when it's time to pass, when it's, it needs to be a one more. Um, and, and they're just, they're an unselfish group. But smart at the same time. Sometimes you can be unselfish to a fault and, and make mistakes. And I, I feel like um, they all feel that, like Jazz was saying, supported, that if they feel like they need to take a tough shot, they're not going to get you know talked about or it's not going to be a problem. They can go take a tough shot as defended um, and if they need to. And so we give them that confidence. And that's, that's what we got to do. We got to be in attack mode. Coach, you mentioned the offense. Including exhibitions, this is 10 times this year that they've scored over 90 points. Mm-hmm. And that's that's a pretty impressive stat. I mean, they just have fun. I mean, is that the secret? I mean, is that really that simple? Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> just have fun. I mean, in confidence, we love playing with each other. We have such a great bond um, on and off the court, and we're just so humble and we're supportive of each other. And I feel like that's key. Like being on a team, like Tanaka so can score 30 points at will, and we're just as happy for her as she is for herself. And I feel like that's just the key, like playing for each other. We Tonight, got, are yeah. you trying to get to the line? Um, let me, I, because that's a big part of mm-hmm. you know what I'm seeing from your game is that you know you don't you're not worried about that. That's mm-hmm. like you want to get there. It seems yeah. Like. Um, yeah, I take pride in my free throws, mm-hmm. and um, it's either bucket or foul. I knew we needed to attack, so either I was gonna get the foul or the bucket. Mm-hmm. So um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I take that. pride in that. Sometimes both. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Anything else? 